It's beautiful. The ships in port just got in. It's absolutely breathtaking. Jagged peak over here. We're going to go on a catamaran. We're going to leave here in about 45 minutes for a catamaran sail and a beach picnic. We're taking our snorkeling equipment and it's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. The sun's up, it feels like it's about, what do you think, 85? Every bit of 85. I think we're going to be in for some fascinating sights. I'm going to walk over to the other side. Okay. Here comes one of the tenders. And that could be our catamaran. I bet. There. I bet that could be. They have bungalows here and huts that are built out on the water that people can rent. And they're on stilts. And then inside the cabin, they've got like a glass bottom area where it's like your own aquarium coral reef fish all swimming. You can see it right from your place. Like sit on the sofa and there they are, right there. Beautiful beach here. This is one of the islands that has some gorgeous sandy beaches. Woo, the water here. So pretty. Look at how far out, Ed, that... Yeah. It sure is beautiful. There's people on that tender already? Yeah, earlier ones went out. The Whirlpool. It's a great ship, I love it. Oh, it is. Early in the morning. We already have room service, too. <laughs> I got the croissants out on the patio getting warm. The butter's going to be all melty and yummy. Put the jam on it. With your stateroom cabin. These flowers we bought in Tahiti. For $15. At home, they would cost you at least $100. I know that. Aren't they gorgeous? They'll be with us the whole time we're on our cruise. And we have now come into shore here at Morea. And we showed you a little bit from the top deck. Right now, we're looking at our, our veranda, which we have a beautiful private veranda of our own. Walk out, have drinks, enjoy the beautiful sights. These waters are very warm, and today we're going to be getting on that tender right down there. And we're going to go snorkeling. Of course, oh, there's so many things to choose from. We're just not here long enough. But we're doing something different on every single island. That's I love that. Out of Morea because of its beaches are so beautiful here. That's kind of interesting. They have uh, that make back and forth to Tahiti. Mm -hmm. We better get going, Ed. We're stopping in this Okinawa Bay in Morea. There's our ship in the background. We're learning all about the natives. What a nice lifestyle they have. And uh, they can live off the land. We're gonna go up higher, but this is sculpted like something out of a dream. It's Sunday here. on up. Okay. Next stop. This is the stop up here in Morea. This is the Belvedere Point. If you were to circle all the way around this, this is all a volcanic crater. And over here is famous from South Pacific Valley High. The two deepest bays around this island are right in front of me. You want to say where Captain Cook landed? back in the 60s. And over here on the other side, the other deep bay, where you can see the tail end of our cruise ship. Maybe you can uh, possibly uh, zoom in on that. That's the Okinawa Bay. Absolutely gorgeous today. It feels like it's about, I don't know, 72? Breezy. Yesterday was hot. We were at the beach. Lush foliage here. And look at how the clouds covering this part over here.
We're watching Mutiny on the Bounty inside. We're leaving the island. Hi, Ed. Look how close it is. This is the island of Tuahini, which means pregnant woman. And we're heading out. We're going to go over to Rayatia. Rayatia. It's only about 5 o'clock, but it's kind of like I had a little rain. Check out that cloud hanging over that mountain. It's like these mountains here are like great in moss. It's beautiful. There's not going to be any mutiny on this ship. No way. Check it out. This beautiful exotic flower arrangement that we got in Tahiti. Brought it on board in our stateroom. $15. Having some champagne. This is the life. Really pretty, huh? banana tree. Oh, if not, you can walk inside the garden, taking some pictures. You can walk by this way, sir. Okay. We can we'll do the, that. With the other groups. All right. It's taking a picture of the breadfruit. That's what uh, Mutiny on the Bounty was all about. Captain Bly came to get that, but it wasn't ready to take back plant samplings to England. They had to stay here for five months, and the men fell in love with the Polynesian women, and uh, that's a... I know. The oyster farms there in the background, the black pearl oyster, which is what they're famous for here. But the strangest thing is that they get the nucleus that starts the pearl from the grains from the Mississippi River. It's that shells from the oysters we have in Mississippi. The group was making noises. Yeah. Why? Most noises. <laughs> Papaya tree. We're in the center of a three million year old crater of volcanic. This is an active volcano. Tropical bird, long tire, peat red, white bird, no this by the house, our famous buzzer. Oh. Big like this, the fruit. We might talk about for you, the crater. Yeah. I couldn't see a fruit. Uh, where is that? Come on, stop and see.
This is the morning we're pulling into uh, Bora Bora. I'm reading it. Okay. French Polynesia. Look at the beautiful colors. These are called the Pariahs. And the mountain. Mm -hmm. We'll go inside. Here's a picture of some island dogs. <laughs> Just waiting patiently for a snack. <laughs> the females have always had puppies. <laughs> We're taking this picture for Muffin, so she can see how the dogs live in Polynesia. Look at that. They're waiting patiently for a snack. See there, Muffin? That's how they live. Well, check this out. We're going to get ready to rent one of these little dune buggy guys and head around the island on the Bora Bora. Yes, indeedy. Here comes my main driver. Did you pick yellow or red? Yellow or red? I think we're going to go red. Red? Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. The way she said, if you don't, you're going to go this way. So maybe if we stand around, we'll get to pick yours up when you fall out. <laughs> we are at the famous, world famous, Bloody Mary's restaurant and bar on Bora Bora. We'll just give you a glimpse of some of the um, famous people that have been here. Of course, now Ed Crawford's been here, so it's really on the map. Hang on. This is what you look at right across the street from Bloody Mary's restaurant. Gorgeous lagoon. Truly, so many famous people here. Uh, it defies the imagination. This is just one of their signs. Can you see some of these famous names? Ah. My personal favorite, Harrison Ford. Just a few. Ooh, I like Pierce too. Troy Donahue, oh my gosh, I love it. Ooh, I'm getting ready to go in. Fresh lobster tonight. Ooh. Look at this. The floor of this place is white sand. Is that crater what? Very nice. Well, this is our second stop for our little dune buggy on this gorgeous beach at the Hotel Bora Bora. If you stay here, you get huts. Oh my goodness, it's not Captain Cook, but Captain Crawford. Oh, he just had a Bloody Mary at Bloody Mary's. He needs a rest. How you feeling, honey? <laughs> oh, I think, wait, I hear Captain Ed's plane. Yes. He has his own landing script here, I understand. Yeah. I can land anything here. <laughs> I can land anything. <laughs> Beautiful tree. Ah, he's up.
French Polynesia. We're just on a little pause along the road here to let this landscape just soak in. Look at these. This is a typical, beautiful place where people will stay. Um, little huts, a main hut for food and so forth and drinks and entertainment. Look at that. And then you stay out on these little huts in the water. Oh, my. It's too gorgeous. I'll show you another one here in just a minute. It's another one. The little islets along here. Look at those out there. Can you see this? Oh, my gosh. All those individual places. They call the islets around here, they call them motus. They're called motus. All built out individual on the water. That's not called a houseboat, that's called a house float. Look at that. Here's a little stop in Bora Bora. These are individual huts that people lease. They're beautiful. The picture of the bar, restaurant, the pool is literally right out the door. Look at this. Right out here. Now we're looking out here over to We're going to snorkel and speak stingrays. Over there. Ned's going to go over. They're going to feed the stingrays. This one down there. It's evening, our last night on the cruise. We're going to be leaving Bora Bora, heading back to Tahiti. The ship has lights on. That's why I'm taking this picture right now. And this is what Ed and I are doing after swimming in shark, swimming and snorkeling with sharks. And <laughs> We're eating peanuts and drinking champagne on the last night. Ed, I don't think that's a good idea. You're missing your mouth. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Are you having fun yet? No, no. I think it's time to come into our room. Look uh, at this. The champagnes are ready, and our, our veranda is so so large. It's so big. Doesn't this look like a lake, Ed? What does this remind you of? Uh, lake of the uh, Snow Zarks. Let me get your profile. Turn and look that way. I love okay. your profile. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's such a nice profile. <laughs> Our last night in Bora Bora. We're going to be, they're going to be leaving tonight, taking off 
it is just the, 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 the most beautiful island, sleepy village, just starting to turn on lights for the evening. No big town, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful views. It's pretty awesome. The ship's radar. It's radar. Getting ready. All is ready. All is well in St. Louis. All is well in Bora Bora. Leaving paradise. <laughs> okay, I think we're back in Tahiti. Yeah, we are. It's our last day. We have to leave here in about two hours. Go over to the Outrigger Hotel, and then we wait for our uh, wait for our I guess our shuttle to go to L.A. to be about seven o'clock. Right now it's. 8.40 a.m. This is the entrance. Very narrow. That's the entrance. We're at the, the back of the boat now. And how narrow that is. That's the island of Morea. That That's was our right. island number two that we went to yesterday when we first arrived. Yeah. Two days in Tahiti. Two days in Morea. That's a gorgeous island. Beautiful. To where? Right oh, on yeah. the point. Oh, yeah. Look at these guys running out here with the big rope to get our ship in. Come out here and look at the uh, sailboats that are the Millennium Round the World race boats. There's a fishing tugboat. Here they come with the big rope. Rope. Racing sailboats like they use in the uh, World Cup. Uh, mooring the, the bow of, of the boat. Oh, and somebody's waiting over there. Yeah. Now we're here at the Outrigger Hotel. Yeah, see that guy there? He's suffering. He'd much rather be waiting for six hours at the airport with no air conditioning. <laughs> That's in the distance, the island of Morea again. Beautiful lagoon. This is really a gorgeous spot. Who are we supposed to come up? Well, wandering, yes, wandering one, what did you find up here? Oh, pulling my feet on. <laughs> I'll go get you your shoes. I look at this and wonder why it's not a pudding. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in the hot tub. Yeah, I just got the uh, stuff that falls loose on the floor. A Tahitian shower. You need your shell necklace on. <laughs> And now we have a beautiful bride and groom. We just got married. Here is Ed walking on water. I kid you not. I always knew he was a tiki god. And this just goes to prove it. He is walking on water.
Yeah. Dusk, we're here at a sacred burial site. Also, some of the local families live right down there. The palm should see a sunset. Here's the boys getting ready to go out. Let me see if I can get them on here. Yeah, I am. This is what they do, the young boys, and they have all these competitions here on longer ones with more young men. It's like kayaking, they just love it. This is a traditional native sport, along with surfing. Here they go. They don't seem to worry about life. And there they go. It's just another look at the Outrigger Hotel that we are here for the day, or for a few hours before we board our late flight for LAX, Los Angeles. It's a beautiful facility, 200 rooms. It's the newest hotel in Papaete, Tahiti. And we get to stay here. Lucky us, thanks Renaissance taking care of us. This is better than the airport sitting. One more picture of these adorable boys practicing their kayaking skills. Getting close to a sunset and a farewell to Bora Bora.